Good morning. I hope all the fathers out there had a wonderful day yesterday. And today I want to sing a song for you that Hal Ketchum wrote, I believe in memory of his grandfather back in 2008. It's called Yesterday's Gone. It's actually about his grandfather having had dementia. And unfortunately, Hal Ketchum ended up having dementia too when he passed away in 2020 from complications thereof. Now, he had had a lot of health issues before. He had multiple sclerosis and he had various other health issues that in the mid-2000s caused him to become completely paralyzed on the left side of his body. He basically had to learn how to walk, play guitar, and everything all over again. Even speech was difficult for him, and yet he came back and went on and did several more albums and toured and so forth. But towards, oh, I'm going to say about five years before he passed away, he had other episodes. He was having issues, and he um, kind of was moping around and staying in bed. And a friend of his named Kenny Grimes went over and said, "How? What do you want to do with the rest of your life? Are you just going to sit around and mope and complain, or are you going to do something about it?" Well, they got in the car and they started going around to all these different clubs, and they came up to New England. They did a show in Northampton. I'm going to say it was probably around 2017, and I went to that, and it was so enjoyable. It was at the Iron Horse Grill, I believe, or Iron Horse Bar. Such a wonderful place to take in some music if you get a chance. Then we saw him again at the Narrow Center over in uh, New Bedford, and that was a great place, too. Without further ado, I'm going to sing this song for you, Yesterday's Gone by Hal Ketchum from 2008. Again, about dementia and about a man who had been so powerful and uh, was burned in his memory as kind of a hero, but uh, he wanted to know where he is. So anyway, here we go. Um, well, there's a Corrigan sweater on an old wooden hanger in the back of the closet at the end of the hall. My grandfather wore it for 35 years, but now he don't wear it at all. He sits in the shade the end of his journey in a home for the tired, the old and confused. So tell me where have they hidden the soul of the man I once knew? There's a faded old photo of a dashing young cowboy dressed to the nines for a night on the town. That's him in the middle, surrounded by people who lit up when he came around. So where are the angels sent down to protect him? I'm all that's left of his life. We are two hearts together, the young and the weary, fading one beat at a time. Oh, where is the giant who lived in his body? Where is the mountain that he stood upon? It's hard to believe as I sit here and hold him how mountains will crumble and yesterday's gone. There's a corner in heaven for a calloused old heroes, a place where a good man can finally rest. Pay for by promises, trial and tears, by a soul who did only his best. So we sit here together, knowing the trains are coming, and heaven's just one stop away. I savor the gift of his hand on my shoulder, here at the end of the day.
Oh, where is the giant who lived in his body? Where is the mountain that he stood upon? It's hard to believe as I sit here and hold him how mountains will crumble and yesterday's gone. Oh, it's hard to believe as I sit here and hold him how mountains will crumble and yesterday's gone.